There's a lot of concern these days about the impact of the coronavirus on people with diabetes. First, the good news. People with diabetes are not at greater risk of contracting the infection. So their risk of getting an infection is virtually the same so far as that of a non-diabetic. However, if they get the infection, people with diabetes, with high blood pressure, with heart disease, with chronic lung disease, and now even chronic kidney or liver disease are more prone to get complications. So the outcomes of disease can be worse in these groups. How should we protect ourselves from poorer outcomes or bad outcomes? For a person with diabetes, it's important, the first thing, to maintain your blood glucose well. To maintain your blood glucose well, you need to follow a strict diet plan that has been advised. Even if you were lax earlier, it's important to be very careful these days. Eat on time, eat the right food, avoid refined carbohydrate, avoid deep fried stuff. Make sure you take your medicines on time, particularly insulin, which has to be taken at the correct time, otherwise it can be dangerous. Make sure you test regularly. Sometimes people stop testing and they don't know where they are actually. And it's important to test regularly so that we can maintain our blood glucose at perfect or near perfect levels. Exercise is an important component of diabetes management. And therefore, regular exercise for 30 to 45 minutes is important. If unfortunately you can't go out now and, and you can't do group exercises, but you can certainly do your exercise at home, whether it's treadmill, whether it's static cycling, whether it's yoga or whatever you like. But do give 30 to 40 minutes at least every day to your physical activity, to your body, to yourself. It's also important to realize that we must de-stress. Uh, like all others, people with diabetes must de-stress with whatever they like doing, either time with family, with music, with writing, painting, whatever. Also, it's important to recognize the warning signs. So if you do get a cough and cold or even a regular flu-like symptom, it is very important to get in touch with your doctor. So make sure you have the, the, the contact coordinates established beforehand and don't wait for something to happen. In particular, if you get a dry cough with fever and some onset of breathlessness, it's vital that you get in touch with your doctor. If you follow these basic precautions along with the general precautions that are being advised to everybody, including the hand hygiene, the respiratory hygiene, avoiding close contact, social distancing, if you follow all these, you can navigate through this problem of Corona pretty well, even with diabetes.